What is the most annoying thing in Destiny 2? Well, that's a hard thing to quantify. Some may say platforming as a warlock, or some may say the community. But what even makes something annoying in this game? While I can't exactly calculate every single aspect of the behemoth that is Destiny content, I can at least use some rough formulas to get a good grasp of what really makes my blood boil. However, I'm going to have to cut this task in half. This first video will be regarding PvP, and the second will be regarding PvE. They're a little different, but PvP is much simpler and easier to calculate, so that's the one I'm going to start with. So, what is the most annoying possible PvP experience in Destiny? Let's find out. So, how exactly am I going to even quantify my own emotions? What I landed on is a bit odd, but since I don't have technology to do a CAT scan on my head while I'm playing Destiny, I've decided that I will record a score 1 through 10 every time I died and record what weapon type killed me. I would also record class kills in a little different way. Class kills are anything I consider to be a kill without using a weapon. Any hunter melee kill or warlock grenade kill would get its own score, and then whatever subclass that ability came from would receive the same score. I also recorded any ambient kills, like getting hit with Scorch or running into fire and burning alive, in their respective class. After 120 deaths, I had a pretty good data pool to work with. A bunch of number crunching and headbanging later, I'd finally been able to grind down the numbers into some conceivable thoughts. Once again, in total, I was killed 120 times. I was killed 72 times by weapons, 36 times by class kills, and 12 times by fall damage. I may be a little clumsy. Breaking down the weapons into their classes, our first section is grenade launchers. They only killed me twice with an average annoyance score of 7.5, but Wither Horde specifically caused so much damage, it was probably responsible for about 10 kills, then I just got finished by something else. Sidearms, I got killed twice with an average annoyance score of 4.5. Shotguns were the third largest section with 12 kills and an average score of 4.6. Now, I thought shotguns would be the most annoying thing in Destiny PvP, but it turns out they're actually not all that bad. Usually shotguns were used in combo with something, and that was either cool or I just felt like I got outplayed, so I wasn't really all that upset. The only times I really got upset is if I walked around a corner and got shotgunned in the face and couldn't do anything about it. Next up is snipers. I got killed three times with an average score of 7.7 .7 annoyance points. Auto rifles, I got killed seven times, which is more than I actually expected with an average score of 4.9. SMGs, I got killed 15 times, though most of those were finishers with an average annoyance score of 4.3. Once again, I wasn't really mad at the SMGs when I died, so I couldn't give them high annoyance scores. I may have been annoyed, but that wasn't really something I could blame on the SMGs. However, Mida Multi-Tool is by far the most annoying SMG to me. Swords, I got killed once, with an average score of 5 annoyance points because I only got killed once. Glaives, I got killed once, with an average annoyance score of... Eight. Scout Rifles, I got killed twice with an average annoyance score of 7. Pulse Rifles, I got killed 9 times with an average score of 4.8 annoyance points. This is something that's odd. I thought I would have gotten killed by Pulse Rifles a lot more because I thought Pulse Rifles just took over Crucible, but I only got killed by a pulse rifle really by one guy in one game, which it was very strong, he killed me nine times, but I expected to see them everywhere, and they just really weren't, because I thought they had replaced hand cannons. I'd gotten killed 18 times by hand cannons, by far the highest number of any of the deaths. Now the hand cannons I got killed by were usually Ostringer, which was very annoying, but I still only had an average annoyance score of 4.5. This is because I feel like I mostly just got outplayed. If I got killed by a hand cannon, it wasn't unfair like a sniper where I couldn't do anything about it. Moving into classes, our first class is the Hunter class. I got killed 14 times by Hunters, mostly knife melees, with an average annoyance score of 5.1. Titans, I got killed 14 times, actually mostly by their supers. That is an average annoyance score of 4.9. I expected Titans to be more annoying than Hunters, but it turns out 
just the hunter knives really got on my nerves. Warlocks, I got killed eight times, and it had an average score of 3.4. Again, I thought I'd be more annoyed at Warlocks, but I just felt like I got outplayed. And their annoying score is actually the lowest of any division here at all. As for the elemental subclasses, I got killed 9 times by arc damage with an average score of 4.7, 10 times by void damage with an average score of 4.6, once by stasis and it got a score of 4, and 16 times by solar, which was expected, with an average score of 4.9. I don't know if it was the Hunter healing or the Scorch or if it was just too common for my brain to handle, but I really found Solar more annoying than the other classes while playing. I don't know what caused it because I do like Solar and I like what it does. I think it just combos too well with Hunter abilities and all that for me to just be like, oh, this is a fine thing to play against. Now you may have noticed a couple of these factors had really low kill numbers but high annoyance rates. I typically eliminated them from my final conclusions, which you will see later. This includes swords, glaives, scout rifles, and the stasis subclass. While these things actually were very pesky, I don't have enough data on them to justify adding them to the most annoying build ever. However, I will not be excluding grenade launchers simply due to wither horde, which I've explained why that happened earlier, but I will also not be excluding sniper rifles because they were still very impressive and kept me out of open space and affected my gameplay enough to be annoying on their own. The last thing about PvP that I can feasibly calculate how annoyed it makes me is the PvP maps. This is still the most opinionated section as there's not much physical data I can get from it, so watch your feelings but I'm going to do my best. I ended up deciding on a couple criteria for a good PvP map, at least in my opinion. One, it has to have both great sight lines and open areas, while also having some obviously established cover areas. Two, too many enclosed areas and hallways and stairwells make the experience worse for me. Next, far too much of that high ground, low ground type map building makes the map unenjoyable, at least for me. After that, if the zones aren't at least decently covered, laid out, and balanced in their own position, it really drives the map down for me. So, what are the best and worst maps for PvP according to my criteria? Well, the worst is Twilight Gap. I know it might not be the least popular, but it just gets on my nerves. The whole map is basically cut into two halves, first of all, and high ground is very overpowered. Zone B is a Herculean task to overtake, and if anyone has high ground on you there, you're definitely dead. Not to mention there's far too many walls and obstacles and cover making the issues with sniper rifles and shotguns being upsetting even worse. It's just a junky, overgrown map with too much going on and I've never found myself having fun on that map. On the flip side of that coin, the best map was actually really odd. After going through all of the maps in Destiny PvP, the best map for me is Wormhaven. I know it's not everyone's favorite, it's not even mine, but I just don't feel like there's too much unfairness, and so I find myself getting mad at the map far less often. But again, I understand not everyone's gonna like this map or think that it's the best, but I just find it's the least enraging of all of the maps. There's plenty of open areas, there's also plenty of cover, and the zones are literally balanced. It's a mirrored map. So, while yes, I don't think it's the most fun map, it's still the least offensive. After all of that word vomit and numbering, what would be the single most annoying thing in Destiny 2 PvP? After all my calculations and formulas and everything I could possibly come up with, that would be a Solar Hunter running Wither Horde and a Sniper on Twilight Gap. If not Wither Horde, then an auto rifle, but Wither Horde drove up so many other guns' points that I just can't discount it. The combination of Scorch, Knife, Sniper headshots, and Wither Horde poison makes this PvP experience the single stupidest and most insufferable in all of conceivable thought to me. It makes my blood boil just thinking about ever having to fight the troglodyte that thinks this build might be cool to use. Oh, wait. 
the least offensive build in Destiny 2 PvP would be a Void Warlock running a sidearm and an SMG on Wormhaven. How wholesome of them. It would be a balanced, skill-based match with very little triggering BS, in my opinion. At the end of the day, nothing scored zero on this scale. Everything was at least slightly annoying, and it's not always the game's fault, it's just human nature to find things annoying when they don't go our way. It's okay to want things balanced, but to expect a game to never get on your nerves is pretty unreasonable. Annoyance isn't all that bad, it's just a side effect of gaming as a whole. Well, maybe we want to trash on Destiny 2 for being unbalanced and we hate this thing and nerf this thing. It's still a fun game, and we return to what we find fun, even if it does make us a little mad. So go ahead, be annoying, who cares, the world needs a little spice anyway. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm now going to begin the calculations on the next video for the PvE most annoying thing in Destiny ever, and then hopefully I'll be able to calculate the single most annoying thing in Destiny, even though that is a monstrous task. Please like, subscribe, tell me to explode, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Time is up.